Their intellectual life consisted in reading Reynolds News or the Sunday Dispatch, with sometimes an old almanac brought down from the ceiling, or a school reader brown with the droppings of thatch. The sporting results or the headlines of war was a humbug profound as the highbrows arcana. Pat tried to be wise to the abstraction of all that, but its secret dribbled down his waistcoat like a drink from a strainer. He wagered a bob each way on the derby. He got a straight tip from a man in a shop. A double from the guineas it was, and thought himself a master mathematician when one of them came up and he could explain how much he'd have drawn on the double if the second leg had followed the first. He was betting on form and breeding, he claimed, and the man that did that could never be burst. After that they went on to the war and the generals on both sides were shown to be stupid as hell. If he'd taken that road, they remarked of a marshal, he'd have... Oh, they know their geography well. This was their university. Maguire was an undergraduate who dreamed from his lowly position of rising to a professorship like Larry McKenna or Duffy or the pig gelder Nalan whose knowledge was amazing. A treble... Full, multiple odds. That's flat porter. My turnips are destroyed with the black godly crows. Another one. No, you're wrong about that thing I was telling you. Did you part with your filly, Jack? I heard you that you sold her. The students were all savants by the time of pub close.